The start of the supercar's livery reveal season has been dominated by Ford with a number of very striking Mustangs revealed over the recent days. But today, Erebus have been the first to really fly the GM flag, showing off their black and red beast set to be piloted by Will Brown and Brody Kostecki. Just like I did with the Cool Drive Mustang a week ago, I want to give you my first impression on a fully stickered up Camaro. And overall, I am very much liking the look of this car. It looks very aggressive both in terms of shape and paint and I think that's the first thing I want to comment on. It is so refreshing to see a Camaro in something other than a black, silver or grey livery which is pretty much all we've seen on the Gen 3 prototypes to this stage. So I'm really glad that Erebus have come out with such a strong colour palette. The other thing that jumped out to me was just how many logos are on this car. They've got loads of sponsorship and I think they've done a really good job getting all those diverse logos and making them fit on one hummer design. The bonnet is fairly bold, that stands out quite a lot, but the rest of the livery I feel really flows nicely from one panel to the next. There's two design features I really like more than any other part of the car. The first one is the Shaw and Partners logo by the rear wheels. I love the way that logo has sort of been curved with the shape of the car. It really accentuates the shape of the vehicle and the sort of hips of the Camaro as I think Larco refers to it. I also like the back of the car, the blacked out brake light housings. I think they really pop against the white and red paint underneath and sort of complements the blacked out rear wing as well. Overall, love what they've done with this livery. I mentioned last week that the Mustang livery designers might have had a bit of a hard task working around the uh, air vents that are on the hood of the Mustang, but I've noticed the Camaro guys haven't been let off too lightly either because this livery has really pointed out to me just how shaped the bonnet is on the Camaro as well, but rather than having air vents, it sort of has this dip in the middle of it, which once again, this livery really drew my attention to. And having looked a little closer at this part on both cars, I'm really curious to know now if the air vents on the Mustang are actually functional uh, because the Camaro seems to be fully sealed off on the top here despite this dip in the bonnet. It doesn't look like there's any air vents built into that. And if that's the case and the Mustang air vents are functional, I'm really curious to know if that's going to create much of a difference in engine temps between the two vehicles. I promise you, I'm not trying to start a parody argument here. It's just a detail of the cars I'm really curious to know more about. But to finish off with some final thoughts, it's great to see Erebus come out so strongly today. I'm impressed with any team that manages to pull off anything like a formal launch, given how chaotic the run up to Gen 3 has been with the car builds. And it's also good to see Erebus get such strong sponsorship through Coke on both vehicles for what I believe is going to be the whole year. I know split sponsorship and evolving sponsorship where the livery changes from round to round can be a necessary evil on the commercial side, but when you do see a team have such a distinct identity like Erebus seem to have this year, I think that's always a good show of strength for a team. Just like I did with my reaction to the Cool Drive Mustang a week ago, I will pin a comment which will have a link to a YouTube poll where you can let me know your thoughts on this Erebus livery. And I think it's important to celebrate that we are less than 30 days away from going round racing in Newcastle. The final countdown is very much starting. We're seeing more and more cars starting to test as well. So I feel like momentum is finally building for this new era of supercars. And as I always say, when the season starts, I will be doing round previews, reviews, and loads of discussion videos in between. So I'd love to have your support here on the channel. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in another video next week.